Well, this is iteration number two on my fuel injector controller. Um, I decided the one in the previous video really wasn't going to meet my needs. It would work quite well for what it was basically designed for, which was to test an injector in the engine individually and pulse it and see if that injector happens to be plugged or not functioning. But for what I wanted to do, which is to uh, pulse injectors while they were cleaning for maybe half an hour or more at a time that just wasn't going to work out and it really wasn't any good way to modify that circuit so I've been searching around quite a bit in a lot of my different books that I have application notes and on the internet and I came up with this circuit here basically what I've got is of course the 555 timer that's what you use on every project <laughs> um, and also an LM393 um, comparator and I'm using the two, the one, the 555 for the uh, actual carrier frequency and then the 390, 393 to um, alter the pulse width and of course I've got a MOSFET that's going to actually run the fuel injectors and I'm hoping this is going to work a little bit better and I've actually used this I breadboarded this up the, a couple days ago and I actually have used it and it seems to work pretty much exactly for what I want to do so I'm going to hook this up and demonstrate it here So there's my fuel injector. And I'll hook this little back this up a little bit. Hook this little battery up here. We'll see if we get what we want. My potentiometers aren't making very good contact in the uh, breadboard, so that's why there was a little bit of a lag there until I kind of moved them around. Then also, once you get to a certain point, you hit saturation in the injector. So there, basically it's on all the time. So now what I have to do, I need to, if I'm going to do this for flow testing, then I'm going to need this to be a little bit more precision than just these single turn pots. So I'm going to have to get some 10 turn pots. I do have one 10K 10 turn pot, and then I need a 1 meg 10 turn for the duty cycle. And also I need a uh, counting dial with a, uh, a break on it so that I can dial in the exact numbers that I want, figure out what numbers those are, so I can test these fuel injectors at a couple of different, say two or three different pulse widths and measure the flow at those different pulse widths. And then I think also usually when you do a uh, fuel injector cleaning you usually maybe open them all the way and do a flow test as well. I'm going to have to research that a little bit more. But this will sit here for as long as the battery holds out and just pulse that injector forever. So that's more what I need than what the previous project was that I posted. Which I'm going to post these one right after the other. But the first video actually was done probably at least a week ago. So now what I'll do is I'll shut the camera off and I'll set this up over here by my um, ultrasonic cleaner and I'll basically drop the thing in there and pulse it while it's ultrasonic cleaning. And again this is all 
I'm hoping to eventually develop possibly a business at this. Um, things have changed for me a little bit in my employment, so I'm going to be needing a little extra money. Or I don't know if I need it, but I want a little extra money. And this is one way I may do that. And I'll discuss that maybe in another video, what's going on there. But just to say right now, this is very, very preliminary. And whatever I have is going to be very repeatable and very usable. And I'm just kind of in development. If I could somehow set this up without spending a huge amount of money for something that may fail, then I'll be a lot better off than if I go out and I buy a $1,500 injector cleaner set up and then end up getting basically no business for it so anyways I'll shut the camera off and I'll show you here in a minute with it in the ultrasonic cleaner okay I've got the injector pulsing in the ultrasonic cleaner and I'll turn the ultrasonic on now the, I've been experimenting with this for quite a while and I have a whole pile of injectors that I threw in here to clean initially so yeah, the solution is dirty, but again, I am working on, you know, methods and everything, and obviously I'm not going to just stand these in here like this whenever I have a regular video, so I'm going to make an insert in here with eight holes on it so I can do eight injectors at a time, and obviously I'm not going to do eight injectors with this little tiny battery. I'll have probably a little car battery with maybe a battery charger. I think this circuit with that particular MOSFET should handle at least four. I'll try it anyway to see what happens. The MOSFET's ready for like 35 amps or something like that, so we should be able to do it. But basically, for the cleaning, I'm going to obviously hang it in the carrier instead of just stand it up straight up like this. And pulse it for half an hour, 45 minutes while the ultrasonic is running. And then also, I'm going to have a setup to where I'll have a small pump here, and in each one of these injectors, I'll be flowing. Taking fluid out of here, flowing it through the injector as it's pulsing and as the ultrasonic is fading. And obviously, I'll have the uh, o rings off, and I'll have the but I think this will uh, work quite nicely and also what I'm, I'm going to probably set this up so that especially on these particular injectors which have to be a disc type injector I'll set this up to where it's say part way through the cycle I'll put the injectors over and then back to I thought I would demonstrate what, what's going on here. I'll have a whole load of four or eight or six or however many going. And I'll probably buy several of these ultrasonic cleaners so I can do more than one set at a time. Or maybe buy some of them and do them in stages. So, for example, this could be my dirty one where I throw the dirty injectors in there to get the initial cleaning. And then the next one would be you know, the, the medium fine cleaning with the last one, and then I can hook them up to my uh, flow, bench, flow bench setup, which I'm still developing, so I can actually flow them, and that's going to be something that's going to be repeatable. I'm probably going to use a circuit similar to this, but I'll probably, instead of using a potentiometer, I may end up using precision resistors, say, with a, uh, I've got some, uh, selector switches that have gold-plated contacts that aren't going to corrode or anything and I'll be able to flip through two or three different um, duty cycles I'll have to find out that I know in my research they talk about um, pulsing them at a certain RPM which I don't know I'm not sure what they mean by an RPM whether they mean they're taking the frequency and 
turning that into an RPM and what I'll have to find out, whatever information it takes. But whenever I do actually get into this, it's going to be something that's useful and repeatable and good so people can get good injectors back and it will work. I just thought I would show a little bit of this here and then after this video I may do a little bit of an explanation on why I am uh, looking into finding ways to earn a little bit more money. But that's about all I got to show for this.